Hi everyone, we're going to write the partial fraction decomposition of this problem right here. And I went ahead and factored it using my factoring facts of the difference of cubes here, right in here. Therefore we have one linear factor and one irreducible quadratic factor. And when you have that, you're going to set it up with a constant, our a, over our linear factor and be a linear term, so bx plus c over our quadratic. We want both of these to be proper rationals, so we can split this up. So we're going to clear the fractions <coughs> by multiplying by our LCD, which is always this one right here. You multiply that um, by both sides of the equation. I'm just going to put that there. You multiply that, that's going to cancel with that. So you're just left with 1 on this side. We also have to multiply it on both sides of the equation. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 4. And then um, basically what you're going to get is 1 equals, <coughs> this will cancel out. We're left with a times x squared plus 2x plus 4. And here... We have bx plus c, and this cancels out, so we're left with times x minus 2. Now we want to get rid of, uh, solve this as best we can, so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and let x equal 2 um, first, because if you let x be 2, this will eliminate um this part and we can find a. So we have 1 equals a. So we let x be 2 times 2 squared <coughs> plus 2 times 2 plus 4 and then we're going to have uh, here plus b times 2 plus c then you're going to have your 2 minus 2. Well, 2 minus 2 is just 0, so that knocks this whole thing out. So we merely have 1 equals a times 12. And I'll go ahead and put the 12 in front of the a. So we got our a. Our a equals 1 over 12. Now for this part, we need to find our b and c. So let's let x be 0. So you get 1 equals a times 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus, one, plus 4. And then we have plus b times 0 plus c times 0 minus 2. All right, so we get 1 equals 4a that cancels out. So 4 times a, the b cancels out. So you just get minus 2c. Now we already have a. Our a was 1 12th. So plug that in. You get 1 equals 4 times 1 12th minus 2c. So that's 1 equals 4 over 12 is 1 third <coughs> minus 2c and 1 minus 1 third is 2 thirds so I just subtracted the 1 third from 1 and get negative 2c multiply both sides by um, negative 1 half and you're going to get c so we're just multiplying both sides by negative one half. So you get C equals um, negative one third when you reduce that. All right, now finally, we're gonna let X equal one. Then we have one equals A times one squared plus 2 times 1, plus 4, plus b times 1, 
plus c times 1 minus 2. So that gives you 1, and this is 7, so that's 7a, and then we're going to have, this is uh, negative 1 here, so you're going to get minus b, and then minus c. All right now let's plug in our a's and b's. Our a was 7 twelfths, not 7 twelfths, 1 twelfth, minus b, and our c was uh, negative 1 third, so that's just going to be, I'm going to just make that plus 1 third. So if you want, you can write your b over here, b equals 7 twelfths plus 1 third minus 1, and that's all going to equal 1 twelfth, negative 1 twelfth. Now that we have our a, b's, our a again was 1 twelfth, and our b was negative 1 third, and so now we just fill in our original equation. And we're going to get 1 over x cubed minus 8 equals our a, which is 1 twelfth, over your x divided, divided by x minus 2, plus, and our b was negative 1 twelfth, and you had an x minus your c, which is uh, minus 1 third, divided by x squared plus 2x plus 4. If you want to simplify that further, you could get 1 12th divided by x minus 2 plus um, negative 1 12th. So I'm just factoring out a 1 12th. And if you factor out a 1 12th, you're going to get x plus 4. You can do that. You don't have to do that, but if you want to, you can plus 2x plus 4. And this would be your final answer. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.